All right, this video is going to be a quick one about flame straightening with an oxyacetylene torch. I got a little bit of distortion opposing the joint from all the heat input only on the left side. When this shrinks as it cools, it uh, contracts and that's why I've got this, this bend right here. All right, this technique isn't new, but I'm gonna just go over what's been working for me. So we do these heats in little pie-shaped triangles. You start your heat in the center and move out, and then to get this to bend back around, um, putting some heat in in this area. So doing the triangle on this side, heat in the corner, triangle on the opposing side, heating the corner, and then bridging it, getting this to like a Go, uh, orange heat and then I'll go down to this bottom one and then over this one and then here and then the middle um, I've been finding that uh, there's a little bit less opposing that bend if I put one more heat spot up there at the top but then after I do this I will cool this side with a rag with some water to pull everything over All right, so after that first heat session, we have closed that gap significantly. And for reference, this is the gap on the other side that I haven't straightened yet. And we can see that gap there is looking like an eighth or three sixteenths. Here I'm working on this leg of a table that warped pretty bad when I welded it and I'm going to try to straighten it up. You can see me lining it up here. And I'm using the usual sort of pattern of mapping it out with my soapstone of uh, heating the backside where I want it to shrink and then putting in some little pies. I kind of drew the pies backwards this time but you get the idea. And then you want to go over this side and do the same. Just to point out again uh, that this leg bent uh, sort of down in the picture because of all the heat input on that side. And we have a pretty significant difference out of square. It's square for the beginning portion and then after the weld it bent up. Or rather it had all the heat input only on one side of this member and as it cooled that heat input shrunk and contracted and as you can see this is after a straightening session we're pretty close um we got everything a lot closer to square